On Thursday, the Texas Board of Education voted to reverse its previous stance on school choice. Initially, the board rejected school choice vouchers that would give public funding to private schools. The board has now taken a neutral stance as the potential impact it could have on rural and urban schools continues to be a point of conversation. KMR Local 4's Maya Clark has the latest. That story from your local election headquarters. During a parent empowerment night in Corpus Christi, Governor Greg Abbott shared his support for school choice and said that he wants to create an education savings account program. That will give all parents the ability to choose the best education option for their child. The education savings account program would reallocate taxpayer dollars to parents who want to send their children to non-public schools. Those against school choice worry that school choice will take funding away from public education. The impact could be significant in rural areas. Keenan Independent School District, who has experienced substantial enrollment growth, anticipates that if school choice policies are approved, it will have minimal impact on CISD. We're projecting uh, more growth year after year uh, with the amount of construction and housing that's happening. Uh, we've passed our bonds, so we have more classroom space to accommodate more kids, and we expect that will continue uh, despite uh, the work uh, throughout the legislature or the State Board of Education decisions. The Board of Education can make recommendations. The legislature decides what happens with the education budget. Flushi says he hopes that teachers and staff pay raises are a priority so that CISD along with school districts throughout the region can continue to have a positive impact on students. Board of Education decision uh, related to uh, uh, being neutral on school choice uh, really has no impact on the financial picture for the local school districts. Uh, instead the legislature has uh, the mainstay in, in uh, looking at the statewide budget and the, the amount of uh, education funding that occurs with that budget. The Board of Education has 15 members with a GOP majority. They are responsible for setting curriculum standards, managing funding for public schools, and improving charter applicants, according to their website. Live in studio, Maya Clark, Kim Local 4 News. Andy. Maya, thank you. According to the Houston Chronicle, there are 15 states with school voucher programs, including Florida, Georgia, Indiana, North Carolina, and Mississippi.